Hi, I'm Niall Heaney from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we are in Fermanagh, sunny Fermanagh, where it's raining again. We're on the shores of Loch Erne and we are taking a look around this really nice 1990 Sea Line 290 Ambassador. It's a beautiful 31 foot long sports cruiser with uh, sleeping accommodation for four in the cabin, separate aft cabin, nice spacious heads compartment. This boat's fitted with a pair of Volvo Penta AD31 130 horsepower stern drive diesel engines on dual prop drives. Um, it's a really well presented one, very nicely polished, very well presented for sale, had a bunch of recent upgrades as well, including a full new set of camper covers a couple of years ago, a um, bunch of recent service work, uh, and it's just a really nice example. 10 foot beam on this boat makes it a very spacious cruiser, lovely spacious cockpit here, um, and a pilot room down below as well. She is a really nice, stylish shape of a boat. Um, much more modern again and than, than I think her year would suggest. Um, it really does, you know, th this sort of generation of sea line was in production right up until the, the mid 2000s. So a very fresh looking boat, I think. And it's in beautiful condition. It's been very well polished. Um, the owner tell, was telling me he likes to keep on top of it from a cosmetic point of view. She's always regularly washed and polished and it, and it shows. Easy walk around side deck access. You can climb out from the cockpit. We'll go up there now in a second. Nice high guard rails. Aluminium windscreen surround all looks nice and clean and tidy. Windscreen seals are good. There's no leaks anywhere inside that windscreen. All the port lights and all are not are all nice and dry inside as well. There's no internal leaks from any of those. Bow rails look great. Rub rail all the way up this starboard side and the gel coat. Looks fantastic. A real credit to your owners. This is a very smart looking boat. One other thing I want to point out is on this port side, you've got the sea line bags there, just a little sea line bags, but um, I, I'm not sure if that's a slightly more modern emblem than you know the age of the boat. Maybe it was a, a retrofit one, um, but that I think does, I think it looks really smart actually, just a wee small detail like that makes the boat look and feel a lot more modern and also because it doesn't have the side the stripes the pinstripes a lot of these 290 ambassadors had pinstripes up the hull sides that dates them a wee bit you know this one has had those stripes removed and um, they're just vinyl stripes so they just were, were taken off and polished out um i think that really makes her look a lot more fresh and modern too you see you've got your uh exhaust outlet for the heater nice chrome heater exhaust outlet so stepping into the cockpit then We've got this nice little closing transom gate, so you can lock that closed, fold this little seat cushion over, and then that secures the cockpit so that you can keep kids and pets and things safely inside the boat. We've got this, obviously this section of cover rolled up to give you access, easy access in and out. Um, and then we've got a huge big cockpit here with big wraparound U-shaped seating area on the starboard side. We've got this little bench seat then on the port side that'll accommodate another two people so you could easily sit i don't know you could sit a whole a lot of people around this large cockpit table you could two four six you could probably get eight people around the cockpit table and it's all on a single level as well once you come over that wee step to get in here the rest of it's all single level which is a very nice feature as and well condition wise it's lovely it looks to be all the original upholstery as far as i can tell with the white white sort of grained leather with a nice navy blue piping around it all in good nick now it could there's a wee bit of it could do with a bit of a, scr a scrub up a bit of a spruce up just to get the the grain in the grain nice and clean and fresh um it's it can be difficult to do if you don't know how to do it but i have a couple of boat validating wizards who would be able to bring those seat cushions back to like bright white again which would do it a world of good you know just see these areas here where your sort of your hand naturally falls to they get a wee bit grubby over time but they can be cleaned back up again um, with a professional clean. But the actual upholstery itself is in great nick. Stitching all looks good. Again, a testament to the quality of the original materials that were used whenever this boat was, was first built. Huge, big, um, triple wide helm seat. Individual captain seat over there and then a double wide bench beside the helm. So whenever the boat's underway, you can have company up forward with great visibility out through the screen. We have a nice wide companionway here on the port side with more storage lockers in the gunnels and also onto the floor. We have our manual bilge pump location here and we have a heater outlet. There's an Eberspacher D3 heater on this boat, 
with an outlet here in the cockpit which is nice because whenever you're sitting um, in the evenings with the camper covers up you can turn the heater on and you'd be amazed at how much heat you can get from just the single outlet in here so coming further forward then we've got this uh, split folding door so bottom section closes over this bit here slides there's a wee lock on it you can lock it there so you can close it up for security at night time or whenever you're leaving the boat we also then have a couple of steps up to the helm station great captain style helm seat and this double wide bench beside it coming up here we have a huge big chart table area so you can put your charts in there your paper charts we've got a full suite of um marine instruments electronics all that sort of stuff which we'll go through now in a wee bit of detail and uh, a nice comfortable helm position this is your radar arch lights and then deck lights as well so everything's working there which is good and then we've got our engine instruments so two tacos here in the center port and starboard engines with digital hour clocks now the hour clock on this one's not displaying but on this it's showing currently showing 325.4 hours now the owner tells me that he thinks this is accurate an accurate reflection of how many hours the engines have run um, which is super low hours on this boat um, but it's hard to say whether that you know the clock has been changed throughout its life or something i don't know but but the owner is, tell, is, is telling me that as far as he's concerned that's genuine hours 325.4 hours which is very very low performance wise this boat's fitted with a, those 80 31 so they're 130 horsepower piece 260 horsepower combined i'll have to do some research on what the top speed is uh, you know what the you know sort of build spec top speed was but i would I imagine it's going to be something like maybe 20 25 knots in that territory the current owner said they, they planed the boat a few times but not a lot there they tend to just cruise along we're in uh carry bridge here in fermanagh so we're on the on the river um so largely you're going to be cruising along at six or seven knots just idle speed or a bit a bit higher maybe a thousand fifteen hundred rpm and the, the wee engines are going to be sipping diesel at that sort of speed they're going to be very economical to run but if you do want to get up and go you can uh, drop the throttles and, and like i said probably get up to about 20 knots or thereabouts but i, I would say that uh, this is primarily just a river cruising boat that you're going to tip along nice slow speed and uh, save the environment save your save on your fuel bill as well but um, we will speak to the, the owner and I'll try and do a bit of research to get some numbers and we'll post that in the description on the website to, for what sort of top speed you can expect out of this boat. So let's head below now and have a look around this cabin. Quite like the fact that it's got this offset door so the entry point is offset the port. So um, I think it always sort of opens up the layout downstairs as opposed to having a central door. So you've just got two steps, nice wooden steps down in to your main saloon here so we've got a nice forward wraparound lounge seating area that converts into a double berth at night time the table drops down there's two filler cushions go in there and you can make that up into a huge big double bed um plenty of port port lights in here as well so you've got lot, lots of natural light then on the port side we have a large galley which we'll take a look at in a bit more detail in a minute and then on your starboard side, we've got two doors, one into the heads compartment and one into your aft cabin, which also has ensuite access to the heads compartment too. So nice layout, two double bed or a double bed or two singles in there, double bed out here and uh, lots of room to move around. Really does make the most of the full 10 foot beam on this boat much more spacious in here than you'll have on a sort of typical 25 26 foot entry level sports boat we've got a full gas cooker on this boat gas oven i should say so you've got a gas oven and a gas hob twin ring gas hob let's move that wee boy out of the way so that's your gas hob so again that means because it's all gas cooking facilities you're totally self-sufficient you don't have to be plugged into shore power in a marina you can be off staying on the anchor or on a nice private you know an island jetty or something like that you can be uh, away from the from the, the crowd and still be self-sufficient we've got a huge big sink here actually twin drainer sink 
nice big sink with hot and cold running water. Um, we've got plenty of storage in this galley also. There we go. I think we just have the speakers in here. I'll just have a look and see. Oh, we do have speakers out here as well. Yeah, they're working. That's working. So pretty decent little sound system as well. Front loading CD player there too. So nice stereo system. Um, we've got two 40 volt sockets up there. Carbon monoxide alarm as well, which is important. We have that. We've got storage, these nice little deep storage bins and behind the seat backrest. Some nice sea line coasters there actually. The owner's got dehumidifiers and air fresheners dotted around the place, which is always a nice free sign. And we've got a pretty comprehensive history file on this boat too. Full service, well, I say full, there's a, a comprehensive recent service history. We've got all the owner's handbooks and manuals. We've got a whole bunch of previous bills of sale as well, showing a real uh, good chain of ownership. Again, that's always a good sign of a boat that's been well looked after throughout the course of its life. The fact that people have kept up to date with the paperwork and kept the file going is good. So access into the aft cabin is through this rearmost door. Nice big wide door. And then we've got this lovely spacious twin cabin that also converts into a double bed. So we've got it set up as two singles at the moment. All the same upholstery as the forward cabin. And then you've got these three cushions back here that slide in the center and make that up into a double bed as well. This is your main day access into the heads compartment and a nice spacious toilet compartment it is. There's a brand new toilet there, which was installed, I think uh, 2020 or 2019. We've also got a new uh, sink or tap, sorry, I should say, and shower heads that pulls out. You can use it as a shower, hot and cold running water. Obviously we've got another open and port light here and you've got excellent access into the engine room. Obviously got the pair of Volvo Penta 8031s, 130 horsepower apiece. Good access all around them. The owner was telling me it was recently serviced within the last, he did tell me, but I can't remember. It was certainly within the last 12 months, probably less. I think it was the last maybe six months. There was a full service done on the engines, new filters and all that sort of stuff. Um, you can see the filters actually look pretty fresh on there. Oil and things was changed, all that sort of stuff. You've got your chlorifier over here for your hot water. You've got battery boxes down in that side on the starboard side. You've got another battery, single battery on the port side. We've got fuel pre-filters in there, which are easy to get to. Again, they look like brand new. Um, Builders look pretty clean. And uh, yeah, nice engine bay with great room to, to work around them. Um, we'll fire them up now to show you them starting to run. So this is a completely cold start. Um, I haven't ran the engines at all since I've been here today, so this is us. We're going to start the port engine first, then starboard. pleased with that they definitely look to be in good shape and well maintained so there you go that's how the engines are starting and running this is what the engine bay looks like if you like the look of this sea line 290 ambassador and you want to find out more about it then please sign up for vip access on our website at gulfstreamboatsales.com all you have to do is pop your name and email address into the box below this video on our site at gulfstreamboatsales.com and you can get vip access which is completely free once you've signed in, then navigate back to the Sea Line 290 page and you can watch our full length video tour where we go through the boat in a lot more detail. I'll show you around all the storage compartments. We'll give you a really good look around the engine bay. You can hear the engine starting and running. You can see the, the instruments on the dash. You'll just get much more information, a lot more information on this boat, what it's all about, the condition that it's in, and it'll hopefully help you to figure out whether it might be the right boat for you. So that's sign up for VIP access on our website at gulfstreamboatsales.com. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you find it useful.